<laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, sweet. Yes, Hickok 45 here with Benelli M2. Yes, specifically this model is called the Entry, let's see, the M2 Entry Tactical. How you like that? That's pretty cool, Entry Tactical. And if you enter with this, you'll probably have an opportunity to exit, you think? So we're uh, going to do a little shotgunning today. You notice uh, we have one of these uh, evil black guns, of course, but it's a nice one. Looks a little bit like mine, doesn't it? Yes, this one is on loan from the fine fellows down at uh, Academy of Self-Protection in Jolton. We appreciate that. Because I don't have the M2. I have the M1, which I bought back in 89, I guess it was. Been around a while. This uh, M2 is just kind of a, an, an upgrade, quote unquote, of the M1. It's uh, you know, better sights, I think. It's a little bit of change to the bolt carrier. They've changed the magazine uh, old, uh, configuration a little bit, the way it comes off, I think. And uh, the stock a little bit different uh, on some of them. This one really looks a lot like my stock, actually. I took mine off and, and changed it out. I took the pistol grip off mine. But, uh, you know, similar gun, just some, some upgrades. It's still uh, the inertia, you know, bolt system. You know, there's no gas system involved in, in, in these uh, models. I think the M1, the M2. I guess the M3 as well. The M3 is the one that's uh, both bolt, uh, both uh, semi-automatic and pump. You know, you get both with that one. And then the M4 is the new one that uh, I think it's a gas system. It's a different kind of animal to some extent. I'm not that familiar with it. Uh, but anyway, these old uh, the M1, the M2, you got that that inertial system. There's no gas system. You just blow back. You get a nice little recoil with it. But they're really reliable. I guess all the Benellis are reliable. But uh, you know, they just they just tend to work. Okay. This one's fairly new, so we're we're breaking it in, experimenting with different ammo here, but we're going to shoot the thing. Now, one thing you might notice about it, uh, the owner of this one didn't like the long barrel, so he took it out in the garage and uh, put a hacksaw to it and just hacked off the barrel. And uh, I think the ATF is looking for him right now, to tell you the truth. No, actually, he went through the paperwork. It is an NFA item, and he had to go through the waiting period and finally got the toy but it has a barrel length that is, I think it's 14 inches. So that is not legal unless you go through the process and the paperwork and, you know, and get the uh, NFA, the, the tax stamp and everything. So it has a short barrel. It is an SBS, what it's called, okay? Just like a short barreled rifle is an SBR. Pretty smart, aren't I? R for rifle, S for shotgun, SBR, SBS. What a genius. So that's what this is. You know, so we've had some firearms, those little S, uh, see, Serbus, I guess, those little really short shotguns. Those were so short that they fell into that other category, the, the any other weapon, AOW category, any other weapon. And I don't know everything there is to know about that. I'm not going to get too detailed on that. But some firearms are so short and so different, they fall into that category. And that's where those, you know, fall. But this is just a short barreled shotgun. Uh, and that's the designation by the ATF, you know, SBS, and it does take a special stamp if you want a, a shorter uh, barrel than 18 inches, okay? So always be aware of that. You don't want to ever have a shotgun barrel less than 18 inches or a rifle barrel under 16, you know, unless you've got the paperwork on that, all right? Because we all know this is way more dangerous than that one, right? Okay, getting funny, huh? All right, so let's shoot it. We're going to see how it works. We're going to break it in because you can tell by looking at it, it's really new. And a person shouldn't have a shotgun so new looking, really. Let's put some slugs through it. If anything, let's make sure the safety's on. And we're gonna top it off. It holds five in the magazine and uh, one in the chamber. Oh, that's an amazing piece of information. One in the chamber, huh? It's an unusual chamber, it just holds one round. All right, so we'll have six to play with. All right, we'll see uh, where it hits where I can hit with it. Uh, let's try something easy first, like a two liter. <laughs> Nothing like a shotgun slug on a two liter. There's one that has not been struck yet right there. <laughs> I think I popped him on the bottom, pretty cool. Uh, let's pick off that little spray can on that target right there. All right, let's go gonging. Oh, 
boy, knocks the heck out of the gong. I don't know if you can tell. Not many things actually move the gong around, do they? That did. That did. I like that. I'm going to put some more of those in. Safety on. Short barrel. Even though it has a short barrel, you can still reach out there, I think. Two, three, four, five. Uh, let's try it on uh, maybe some smaller targets over there and uh, see how the sights are. Now, it's not a rifle, but we're going to use it as a rifle. You know what? Some goat meat would be good for lunch, wouldn't it? So let's just uh, try it on one of those first, that left one. I'll hold right on him and see where it goes. It was a little over, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice. Let's try a piggy. Piggy, piggy. <laughs> try another piggy. <laughs> what a turkey. Ooh. Rolls them with authority, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, even with a shorter barrel. Yeah, it does fine. And you know what? While I'm thinking of it, I want to I want to try something because you know I'm not very smart. I'll forget. Uh, I'm not telling you anything. Let's uh, see. Yeah, I just have to get mine dirty. Safety on. Okay. Safety on. Rounds in chamber. Okay. Uh, for those of you who still are laboring under the myth that uh, a short barrel is going to just spray out like a hose or something, uh, let's just, uh, I may be wrong, let's just try this though. Uh, I've got some, uh, what are these? These are just some uh, double odd buck. And let's shoot a couple of targets. We don't have any paper up, but let's shoot uh, the uh, tombstone with one of these and let's just check the spread. That's with the short barrel. Now let's do uh, do one with uh, the longer barrel. I'll shoot the cowboy. They're about the same distance. And see if there's any difference, really. I don't know. Not anything to write home about that I can really tell. So uh, just a little experiment since we're here anyway at the range shooting. <laughs> But uh, the fact you cut it down, uh, I guess, four inches, let's see, yeah, about four inches shorter, doesn't make a world of difference. Let's also try some of this, uh, uh, let's see, do I have the box? Yeah, this is, let me grab the box over here if I can reach. Uh, this is some of the uh, Winchester AA heavy target loads there, as you can see, just number eight stuff. This is what I like to shoot, you know, we're just out plinking around. Put the safety on. It's fun to, you know, just shoot uh, bird shot and stuff, and you don't really need double lot buck or high brass uh, slugs and, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, this is a little heavier than just the standard field loads, you know, the heavy target load. And that's generally what you need. Uh, if you have a, a new Benelli, you, you definitely are not going to have success, I think, with uh, the standard, you know, just... Uh, field loads from from Walmart or wherever you buy them, just one ounce loads, okay? Uh, now I'm not so sure about some of the other models, but I know these inertia driven, uh, like the M1, the M2, probably the M3, uh, you, you do have that issue, okay? It, it wants a little bit warmer ammo than just standard low brass stuff. All right, so we got bird shot. Let's put a couple more on that pumpkin. There's nothing like a Benelli, I tell you what. Uh, they're fun. And so much fun, in fact, I'm gonna shoot it some more. I'm gonna put some slugs in again. Because I really can't think of anything I enjoy more than shooting slugs. We're on safe. And let's just put some more in there. A little shotgunning fun. So again, the M2, uh, this is a new one, is uh, just a, a slight upgrade of the M1. I think it came out maybe in the later 90s, you know, and uh, just, you know, but got better size, got a ghost ring side on this one. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're ready to go. Oh, John put up a 
cinder block over there. Now, that might be too small for me, but we'll take a few shots at it. Let's see. <laughs> oh, he's a movie. moving target <laughs> caught me by surprise there you never know what's going to happen on the range do you oh man that's cool that's cool i'm gonna shoot some more slugs since i have a few more oh boy there's nothing like a shotgun it, as you can tell and as you know from our other shotgun videos uh, you can have a smooth bore and this is a smooth bore by the way uh we always get that question i don't own i do not own a rifled shotgun barrel you know, that sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it, to me? I mean, a, a, a rifled shotgun barrel? I, uh, I just don't even own one. In fact, I've never fired a, uh, a shotgun through a rifled barrel. I just never have. So anytime you see us out here, just unless I tell you differently, it's just smooth bore stuff. And it's remarkable uh, what you can hit with a smooth bore. Uh, let's try some of those turkeys over there. It hits hard. I see another goat. All right. I'm holding uh, on the bottom of those targets over there, kind of low. It, it's kind of a six o'clock hold. Puts it right on them. So that is pretty cool. I might have to take a couple more. But uh, again, that's a, an SBS. You get the short barrel. So you know, the advantage you get with a short barrel is, you know, when you're, you know, and you're with your SWAT team buddies, you're breaking into a room and you're having to enter tactically, you know, with a M4 entry tactical model or whatever, you know, you've got less barrel in the way. And uh, it is, it is more convenient in a lot of ways. That's one reason the bullpups are so popular, right? Uh, if you can you know, manage them and can stand them, but uh, you get a shorter barrel and it's just much easier to, to wield and to maneuver. Uh, inside a vehicle or just in any kind of situation uh, it's just it's just handier inside a inside a, uh, a house or you know whatever you might be in so there is a place there is a, a desire there's a there's a reason that uh, the shorter barrels are are in demand and they're uh, desired you know you may not care for it yourself but they're they're pretty cool you do reduce your capacity a little bit you know understandably I don't know, you could maybe argue there's a little more recoil with this one because it's lighter than mine. But uh, as far as the function and the uh, effectiveness of, the, of it, you know, I don't know if there's any real difference. What have we not shot that we want to shoot? Let's, uh, let's just stay with slugs. Look, my shoulder is, is, is tough. It can handle it. All right, put some more in. Because we can shoot almost anything here with slugs except these close metal targets. It even does some damage over there. I don't, I don't shoot them too much. And let's see, I think we need a couple more. Those animals on the top row were kind of hardened steel. And so I can get by with more on them. That's why I always start with them when I've got something powerful like this. I think that was six. Okay, we've got a couple guys here close that have not been hit yet too. All right. Let's see a couple more. Let's, uh, Let's try that red plate. I think if I hold on the bottom of it, I can hit it. Now let's bring it up. Okay, I don't know. I was, I guess I needed to hold right on it. All right, let's try some pumpkin smashing here. Because this pumpkin has survived a little too long right here in my face. Now I'm just going to use number eight uh, shot here since we're up close anyway. And I think we can finish him off. All right, now he's not an exploding pumpkin. 
but we're going to give him a rough time. All right. Oh, that was cool. That was fun. I guess I've shot it enough. I just wanted to help get it broken in. I mean, after all, when someone has a, a relatively new firearm, I feel uh, an obligation, you know, really more or less to help, ouch, to help, uh, you know, an individual get it, uh, get it broken in. Uh, whatever I can do, right? I mean, I hate to, but you know, if, if you twist my arm, I'll shoot your gun, okay? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Again, an SBS uh, uh, model Benelli M2. Okay, entry tactical model. Very nice shotgun. Uh, you know, if you don't have one, you should be shopping for it right now, probably, right? Life is good.